Hey guys, it's Frank from Adventures Outdoors. Let's go do some ice fishing. Exciting time. Love ice fishing. One of the beauties of living in Halifax, any of you being transferred to come to Halifax, thinking about moving to Halifax, one of the beauties of this city is they stock the lakes. So Dartmouth is the city of lakes, and it is should be the city of stocked lakes. There's lots of fish here. You don't even have to leave this city to go fishing. In the summertime, in the wintertime, anytime. If you like fishing, this is the spot to be. I'm telling you. So we have Micmac Lake down here. It's summertime, it's got lots of bass in it. It's great bass fishing down here. You don't even need a boat. Guys are catching them right from the road. Um, with a boat, of course, a lot better. And uh, Penhorn and Albro and Maynard, they're all stocked with trout and Ice fishing on Penhorn and Albro and Maynard and these, these lakes. It's just so much fun. Um, nice, beautiful uh, rainbows uh, stocked. Great lakes. Great lakes for fishing. So, um, anyway, if you're an outdoorsman and you're not taking advantage of uh, fishing in the wintertime, then uh, you're missing out on a real treat. And, you know, when I was a kid, my dad used to take us out, we would fish with a willow branch and a piece of string attached to it and a hook. I mean, that's how we ice fished. Uh, today I've got, uh, you know, all the gear and all the fixings for sure. But uh, nonetheless, it's still, it is an absolute utter blast. So let's see what happens today. Go out, give it a go. And you know what? Even if you don't catch anything, you're getting out, you're in the outdoors. I mean, that's, it doesn't get any better than that. You're outside, get some fresh air, and you're like five minutes from your house. It's perfect. I didn't have to walk 20 miles to get to a, to a decent lake. Uh, if I'm out here on the lake and I get cold, I come back to the truck, warm up, go back out again, no big deal. So, uh, Anyway, let's see what happens and uh, maybe we'll uh, catch some trout today and certainly have some great memories and have some fun and uh, it's all good. Every year the city goes and stocks uh, the, the lakes in and around the Halifax area. Um, and just, just to name a few here, uh, Penhorn, Albro, and Maynard Lakes uh, were stocked with rainbow trout April 4th and April 23rd on 2018, this is. And um, as well, um, Albro Lake was stocked with uh, speckled trout on June 5th as well. So there's lots of opportunity here for catching trout um, in these lakes around the city. I use a Garmin. I use a Garmin fish finder here. And it's just basically that. Let me just drop that down. I'm gonna try to get this transducer as level as possible. And then for me, I usually set it first on the traditional just to see what kind of depth we've got. So it's 
pushing some 12 feet or so. Uh, what is it? 13 feet. 13.8. So that's a pretty good depth there. Once I know that, then for me, I'll flick it over to the flasher. <sighs> what I tr traditionally do is fish from one hole. That's a fish right there. Yeah. So I got movement down there. Totally. Power bait works really well on these stocked lakes. Um, you can't go wrong with using the orange and pink power bait. It works works so well. I, I sometimes will flip over to um, uh, tube jigs and 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 squirt some uh, some scent in the in the tubes itself, or put some power bait inside it. Um, I've used spinners, uh, little little flashers. Uh, one guy this weekend caught uh, a nice 13, 14 inch trout on a fly that he drop shot it. So uh, you never know what the fish are going to pick up. Check this out guys, holy smokes, quite the rig. Wow. <laughs> really, look at this. This is the ideal rig, boys. Is 
lose my homemade jaw jacker. Or tip up, whatever you want. I got quite a bit of weight on the bottom of this right now, so I'm going to flick up real hard. The idea here is that the fish comes and pulls on the line, which pulls this lever down, and then the tip goes up, like that. So it just flicks up, and then I can tell that there's a fish on, and it kind of sets the hook. So uh, it's just a coat hanger that I've attached to a leader that I've attached to and it works pretty simple and works pretty well. Set it up here. Kind of icy right now, so there we go. Just like that. Well, it's only one little trout, and my battery died in my GoPro, so I couldn't even videotape that. So, uh, unfortunately. So, yeah, anyway, nothing else is biting, so I guess maybe I'm gonna head out. Uh, so, it's beautiful here, but it's freezing. Let me tell you, uh, that wind is raw on the face, raw on the bare hands, and God forbid you stick your hand in the water. Water's 36 degrees. It is really cold. Um, so I'll probably stick it out here for another few minutes and then uh, I think I'll pack it up, head out. My plan is to come out here in the morning. We're due to get a storm in the morning or tomorrow. I'm hoping it's not gonna start till afternoon. So if it doesn't start till noon, I'll definitely be out here probably about 8.30, 9 o'clock. So we'll see. So uh, that's all you can do. Sometimes you win, some days you don't. Hopefully tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow. Hi, I'm Frank Zane. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want more great videos like that one, just click right here. Also, if you want more information, please head on over to my website. Thanks for watching.